Breaking news about Elon Musk using Twitter to vote on paying tax. <laughs> so I'm going to go through some things about Elon Musk, his Twitter and Elon Musk plus Twitter equals global superpower phenomenon. So Elon Musk has 63 million followers on Twitter and he uses Twitter to update on things going on at SpaceX, Tesla, etc. He does some fun memes. He challenges the government and um, taxation. And look, cryptos can go to the moon or go to the bottom of the ocean based on Elon Musk's tweets. But there's actually some serious stuff going on here and I would love your thoughts. So please engage in the comments and let me know what you think about what's going on. So first off, Elon Musk has 63 million followers on Twitter. And a lot of people are saying he needs to be very careful when he comments about cryptos, etc. Because he can essentially blow the market up or down. What do you think about that? Let me know. But breaking news literally within the last 24 hours is Elon Musk put a poll on Twitter. And on that poll, it said, much is made lately of unrealized gains being a means of tax avoidance. So I propose selling 10% of my Tesla stock. Now I'm gonna come back to this, much is made, made lately of unrealized gains being made um, as a means of tax avoidance. This is an important point to discuss. but. On Elon Musk's Twitter, he put up a poll and he proposed to sell 10% of his Tesla stock so that there would be a taxable event so that he could pay a massive lump of tax. And 58% of the poll voted yes to Elon Musk selling 10% of Tesla and therefore paying, having a massive tax event. Now, here's the problem I have with that. The government don't know how to manage money very well. It's been proven there. Um, let's just use the US government for the sake of this. They're in massive debt and, and deficit, trillions of dollars. Doesn't take much research to find that out. So, you know, let's say someone who was managing your money was a gambling addict. Would you keep wanting to give them more and more of your money and your tax to manage your affairs if they were a gambling addict? So the problem is that, you know, the government just print masses of money to reduce the value of your money, to reduce the value of their debt, keep interest rates low so that their repayment on their debt is low. And then the money that they get, clearly they're not managing it well. I'm not going to chop at individuals, but if the deficit and the debt is going up and, you know, the, the quality of services in these countries is not improving, and yet they're taxing us more, how does that solve the problem? So anyway, let's see what Elon Musk does. Let me know what you think of his audacious um, tweet, which essentially he has put a poll up. Uh, uh, 3.5 million people voted on this poll, by the way. And 58% said, yes, Elon Musk, you should sell 10% of Tesla stock, which, by the way, will be billions of dollars. Therefore, a big taxable event. Therefore, a load of tax to give to the government. But do you think our governments are managing our money well? Do you think paying more tax is the solution? Let me know what you think in the comments. But there's more to go on here. I really would like you to engage and create a discussion on this. I think there are some big moral, governmental, financial and tax dilemmas here and paradoxes that I think we must discuss. OK, so this vote could see him dispose of nearly 16 billion pounds or 21 billion dollars of stock um, in Tesla. Uh, and he's promised to abide by this result in response to a billionaire's tax. Uh, and if he does make the sale, then, of course, he's going to have a massive tax bill. Now, Elon Musk says he doesn't earn any money, doesn't take a salary, works for minimum wage. That's what he said. Um, again, I'll come back to that. And because, again, people accuse billionaires of paying no tax. I don't think that's right. Corp tax. OK, some people move to Ireland. They still pay corp tax. They just pay less. Income tax. Well, you know, they've got to pay themselves somehow to the income. Business rates. 
There will be billions in business rates. VAT. There'll be billions in VAT. National insurance employers. Billions. National insurance employees. Billions. So there's a loads of taxation that's generated through these billionaires and these billion dollar corporations, which the masses don't really understand. OK, now get this. This to me is... Well, do you know what? I'm not even going to tell you what I think about it. I'm going to ask you. So plans proposed by the Democratic Party in the Senate. Billionaires could be taxed on unrealized gains when the price of their shares or their stock goes up or down in value, even if they don't sell. What do you think about that? A proposal by the Democratic Party that billionaires could be taxed on unrealized gains when the price of their shares go up, even if they don't sell. What do you think? Well, I can't hold this in. I have to tell you what I think. I think it's fucking ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous proposal in tax I think I've ever seen. Why? Because until it's realized, it's not real. It's paper. So, you know, if I accused you of theft because you thought about stealing from me, how would you feel about that? Hmm, I'm thinking about nicking a fiver off Rob. Oh, I, I, I heard your thought there that you're thinking of stealing a fiver off me. I'm going to sue you. That would be fucking ridiculous. It's just a thought. It's not realised. So stock prices go up and down. They can be very volatile. There can be outside forces that create stocks to go up or down. And the Democratic Party are proposing to tax billionaires on increasing stock price, even though it's unrealised. Profits are not profits until they're realised. And what are they going to do? If it goes down, are they going to give us a tax rebate? I'm going to say us, I'm not a billionaire, but are they going to give billionaires a tax rebate when prices go down? Stocks can go up quickly, stocks can go down quickly, many external factors. The fucking hell, they haven't got a clue. What sort of nonsense proposal? I'd love to know who proposed that. And I'd love to look at if they actually run a business. Fucking hell. Anyway, um, Let's have a look here. So apparently that could hit 700 billionaires in the US. But of course, smart people have gone, well, wait a minute. Stock prices can go down as well as up. Wait a minute. It's a paper gain. It's not real. It's only real when it's taken. That's the taxable event. Ah. All right. Anyway, um, so Elon Musk's poll, just to tune you in. Elon Musk put a poll on Twitter saying um, there's a lot of people talking about taxing billionaires more. And their unrealized gains. So he proposed to sell 10% of Tesla stock to realize the gain to have a massive tax event to pay a load in tax. And he said, whatever you vote on the poll, I'll do. At the moment, 58% of people are in favor for that. I mean, I'd love to know who they are. But, you know, anyway. What, what you, does anyone really think if taxes go up, that's going to be good for society? Let me know what you think. Do you think increase in taxes is going to be good for society? Is an increase in taxes going to be good for production? Or are corporate, corporations and business owners going to go, wait a minute, I'm being taxed more and more and more. I'm working more for the government. If we give the government more money, do you think they're going to manage it better? Let me know what you think. So, um, yeah, so this Twitter poll has um, wound a few people up. So um, Shamath wrote on Twitter, we are witnessing the Twitter masses deciding on the outcome of a $25 billion coin flip. Um, Barclay economist um, Gabriel Zuckman said that looking forward to the day when the richest person in the world paying, ta paying some tax does not depend on a Twitter poll. <laughs> right. Something else that Elon Musk did. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. I think this is vital to uh, discuss. Sean Paula said here, an increase in taxes makes poor people poorer. Mm, there you go. So um, a claim made by the head of the UN World Food Programme, the WFP, said that just 2% of Mr. Musk's wealth could help solve world hunger, which I personally think is a bit of a naive thing to think that money can solve world hunger. But anyway, I think it takes a lot more than money, education, other things. So um, in October, Elon Musk said that he would sell six, per six billion in Tesla stock and donate it to the World Food Programme if they could propose and describe exactly how six billion will solve world hunger. <laughs> and nothing has come of that so far. So what, what, why am I ranting about this? You know, what's the point? of it? By the way, please hit the share button. 
I think these moral, social, financial and tax dilemmas, it's important that we all discuss them. And we don't just leave it to Elon Musk, but all of us here do. So summary then, and then let me know what you think in the comments and please hit the share button. If you're watching on TikTok, make sure you're following me. Hit the follow button on TikTok. Okay, Elon Musk put a poll up saying, much is made lately of unrealized gains being made of uh, being a means of tax avoidance. So I propose to sell 10% of my Tesla stock. 58% of the poll voters voted yes for him to sell 10% of Tesla stock. So there's a big taxation event. So there's a massive load of tax given to the government. But do you think the government invest their tax money wisely? Let me know what you think. Do you think they manage the money wisely? Um, there's just been a massive, what, trillion dollar print? Quanti QE, quantitative easing? All right, then. Um, that could mean that 21 billion stock in Tesla is disposed, which would, of course, create a massive tax event. Um, all right. Elon Musk says he takes no salary and no bonuses and he works for minimum wage. Uh, and the Democratic Party have proposed that billionaires could be taxed on unrealized gains when the price of their stocks go up. I asked you earlier what you think about that. I personally think that's utterly crazy because it's paper and it's not real. It's like suing you for an idea. Uh, you, you thought about thieving off me or you thought about defaming me. I'm going to sue you for a thought. You can't sue for a thought. So how can you tax for a paper gain that's not real? But they're proposing that. I mean, for fuck, what the fuck is that? What is that? Um, uh, yeah, now some people are saying, wait a minute. Elon Musk has a lot of power. You know, he, he mentions crypto and it goes to the moon or goes to the bottom of the ocean. So he has a lot of power. Elon Musk, Twitter, power. What's the lesson for you? Create a great brand and leverage social media. You know, we can bitch and moan about them or we can model them and join them. Okay, so what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love your thoughts. Um, my, my thoughts are taxing billionaires doesn't necessarily solve the problem. What solves the problem is educating the 99% to produce more and to create more and to manage money better and to be self-sustaining. Also, I think that um, the government needs to take advice from people who can manage money well, who run real commercial businesses, because the government and the public sector isn't a real business. It doesn't have to make profit. It can be insolvent. Whereas a business can't be insolvent. It's actually illegal for a business to trade insolvently. A business has to make profit. So business owners have to learn to manage money well. Whereas the government, it isn't necessarily a profit motive. It's not private sector. It doesn't have to make money. And an entire country can trade insolvently. So I think government should be taking advice from people who can manage money really well and understand about running big corporations. And instead of the government and the corporations fighting against each other, why can't they work more together and be more collaborative? Instead of the government just wanting to have a massive tax raid on the billionaires and the billionaires wanted to have a massive tax hide from the government. Why can't we find a way that they work more closely together instead of just alienating all the billionaires? Why can't we learn from them? But I don't think it comes from the top. I think it comes from the bottom, because actually, if you think about it, billionaires, they create millions of jobs. They generate billions in tax, even though they avoid some tax, they still generate billions. So VAT in the UK, some corp tax, some income tax, national insurance as the employer, national insurance as the employee, business rates, data fees, yada, yada. There's loads of stealth taxes. So it's actually a massive myth that billionaires don't pay tax. They just avoid some, which of course you would, otherwise you won't be able to make any profit. I mean, right, I mean actually, let's just park, let me know what you think, by the way. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Let's just park billionaires for a moment. You're a small business owner. You do 150 grand a year. That charged at 20%, which means you have to essentially have 20% up on your prices. So it makes it harder to sell. Corp tax is going up to 25% from 19%, a 35% rise. Income tax will be 45% on, a, on, a, on average, it'll be about 40% probably. It's 45% on the, on the higher bracket. 
And then you've got national insurance, employers and employees, business rates. How on earth are you going to be able to make any money? I worked out right now that for every pound I generate through my court company and down into um, paying myself personally and then buying goods and services with that money, I pay about 70 pence in the pound in tax, roughly speaking, all the way down the line. VAT, corp tax, national insurance, income tax, business rates, VAT and tax on things that I buy. It's absolutely bonkers. Essentially, we're all working now for the system. But I, I mean, do you feel like the system's doing anything that you really applaud of them? Um, um, let me know what you think, because if the system has the best schooling and the best, best health care and education and, and services, then, you know, maybe we we don't mind doing that. But if taxes are going to go up, what money is left for us all? <laughs> Uh, Matt, hit the share button. Let's get the discussion going. I'd love to know your thoughts in, in the comments. So I think the solution is educating the masses, not alienating the rich to the poor and the divide, not just in terms of the money, but also in terms of, you know, the relationship, not having a divide between the billionaires uh, and, and the government and all of us working more closely together. If we all learn to manage money well, if we all learn to produce, not just consume, if we all learn fair exchange and value creation, then we, we lift that benchmark of the bottom up. Um, and so the, the overall standard of living will go up. Let me know what you thought. Yeah, someone has said here it's more of a political thing than a business thing. And I think politics can learn a lot from business. I really do. I think there needs to be accountability and, and, and money management. You know, if you file insolvent accounts... There's accountability there, but the government can do it. <laughs> it's like, well, whatever. Okay, so hit the share button. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. If you're following me, if you're watching on TikTok, make sure you follow me here on TikTok if you're not already following me. Um, I go live most days now on Facebook and on TikTok. I'll do um, content like this which is topical content, stuff that's going on in the world and the media, usually around starting and scaling a business and getting better financial knowledge and education. That's my um, vibe, if you like. That's my lane. Hence why I'm talking about this um, today, this morning. I also do a lot of how-to content, how to start your business, how to scale your business, how to get better financial education and knowledge. I occasionally do some Ask Me Anything Lives and Q&A sessions, and then occasionally a bit of randomness. But ultimately, if you want to start a business or scale a business, if you want to improve your mindset, your skill set, your strategies and your tactics around wealth and personal development, um, and you want to get better financial knowledge and it will help as many people as possible, and you want to create a, a, a business that makes you very good money and a good living and a life and also helps and inspires the masses, make sure you follow me wherever you are, because that's what I do. Thanks for tuning in. I gotta go. Please hit the share button. Please stay in the chat and let me know what you think. I do go in and read the chat and answer and engage in the comments. This is not just for the politicians and the billionaires to talk about. Anyone who wants to start a scale of business, we should be talking about this and discussing this and working more closely together. Thanks a lot. I'll see you soon. And remember this, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything.